Hey guys, welcome to my shop. Today I wanted to show you how to apply the Tier 1 Citizen 2 point sling to a 12 gauge in a little more unique way than you would expect. Uh, this is my, uh, my 12 gauge. Um, I refer to it as the pig, mostly because of, because of that. Its front profile to me looks like a, like a pig snout. And um, I have it set up on a single point sling that I basically have created a you know, cool? a rotational effect by taking a length of paracord, sewing it into a loop, and running it through the, the 12 gauge, the um, Magpul SGA furniture. And this little piece right here, it's a solid piece, but what I did was I dremeled the bottom of it so that this loop of paracord goes all the way through the shotgun and it essentially creates 180 degree rotation. And the really cool thing about this was I literally sat down and I looked at this sling, uh, I looked at this 12 gauge and I thought how can I find a way to attach myself to this weapon in a simple manner and came up with this first time out and um, I've run, uh, I've actually gone to a professional training class with this at Tactical Defense Institute and if you want an awesome 12 gauge class check out the one at TDI um, it's going to ask a lot of you and so this sling proved really really uh, beneficial for a lot of the transitions that I was doing. However, this is where it falls short. This 12 gauge is so heavy that it does swing around a fair amount and it's something that I've learned to just deal with. But this is a really, really heavy weapon. And um, I like two-point slings. I don't particularly like two-point slings on pump shotguns unless you're talking about a two-point sling like mine that has bungee in it. So I wanted to show you guys what I came up with to do this and I think you'll actually like the solution. This solution by the way guys is on my website. On the drop down menu there's a section there that says um, HK hook and large paracord loop for 12 gauge something like that. Um, for people who want double paracord loops what I tell them is get the two-point sling with the standard loops for AR-15 and just remind me in the comment section to make you some larger loops. Basically what you want is a small loop for the front, like that, and a larger loop for the back, like this. And the idea would be, and this loop gives you just enough room to run your sling through. So the sling would attach here at the back, on the grip portion, at the front, and it gives you enough slack. And the weapon would rest about here, which is where you want it because 12 gauge you want to, you want to be able to snap it up quickly because 12 gauge by its very nature is a right now is a right here right now weapon. So this gives you a very simple way to have a two point sling on your shotgun it, and it does give you enough room to pump it. This thing is loaded right now so I'm not going to pump it. But it does give you enough room to um, uh, to to cycle the weapon and it's of course it's a bungee sling so it, by nature it automatically does give you the room to work but there's another option if you have SGA furniture. What you would do if you have the standard 12 gauge furniture, the short end, whenever you get my two point slings, there's a short end and then there is a very, very long end. This is the front of the gun, this is the back of the gun. So stock end, handguard end. So for handguard end, and by the way guys, there are, there are three little lines that are part of the webbing. And those three little lines, I call them lay lines or sewing lines. And what that reminds you is keep those lines pointed up. So what you do is you take your paracord loop and you can either run it through one side and back out the other. Or you can just take and actually um, take the barrel out of the shotgun. And I'll just do that real quick. So you can take the barrel out of the shotgun. And yeah, this is a short barrel shotgun that's a 12 inch barrel. Once you take your loop, run it through one side. Oh, actually, I should probably clarify. This is very, very old SGA furniture. In fact, this is first generation at Magpul SGA furniture. So this actually predates um, um, KMR and MLOC. Okay, that's how long I've had this. So 
these slots may look like M-lock, but they're not. So basically what you do is you, actually I should clarify that point too, what I'm getting at is there is no connection, uh, quick detach connection for this. The new stuff, the new SGA furniture, heck yeah man, put an M-lock connector there, hook in. But I'm going to show this to you old school way, which is pass it through the handguard, replace your barrel. It's actually good that I'm showing it to you this way because in many cases the folks that are contacting me about their 12 gauge don't have any of the capabilities of the new stuff. And by the way guys, I'm going to gripe right now about the uh, Beretta, what is it, the 1300 or the 300 or whatever it is. Um, Beretta had an opportunity to make a really, really great shotgun and I don't know what they were thinking. They put a quick detach up front and nothing on the back. So what you're supposed to hang your 12 gauge like this. It just guys, it amazes me how how some of these manufacturers make stuff and they don't think about how the product is going to get used and they make really dumb product choices. But thank you for coming to my TED talk. Okay, so front of the front of the handguard is going to take the long end of the sling. Because I'm a lefty, I want the 12 gauge to hang like this on my person rather than like this on my person. So instead of hooking in here, which promotes the shotgun always winging away from me, I'm going to run the sling over the back and I'm going to lace it up on this side. Alright guys, there you go. Once you've got that sling laced up, you have a very uh, simple setup that is... It makes carrying... I'm going I'm to say this carefully. It makes carrying your 12 gauge more pleasant than with your standard sling setup. And even though this is a pump shotgun, this, and this being a two-point sling, the, the problems that you would normally have with a two-point sling on a pump go away with my sling. Why? Because of that bungee. And you wouldn't think this bungee could handle this loaded shotgun. In fact, you know, I will show you that this actually is loaded. Four. I've got four rounds of slug. So this sucker weighs a lot when it's fully loaded. And it is, I'm not going to call it a pleasure to carry, but it is a lot more pleasurable to carry this setup with a two-point Tier 1 Citizen sling than with a single-point sling or with a two-point sling that requires um, sliders for constant adjustment. So once you've got this laced up, you get into the sling, and the weapon just hangs right where you put it. You can either put it up front like this, or you can stick it off to the side. It's going to want to tend to kind of like wing out a little bit. It's not that big a deal. You are connected to the shotgun. I'm just trying to, the reason I lace to this side versus this side is, I'm trying to keep the shotgun from wanting to constantly do this away from me. But on this side it would work just fine. And once you need it, you would bring the shotgun up, and you're in it, and you can work the pump, because that bungee gives you all the room you need, and yet, it actually controls the weapon for you, not only in the front, but also stored in the back. So, it, I've, I've said this so many times I've lost track at this point. Um, the Tier 1 Citizen 2 point slaying works, as advertised. So guys, if you have any questions or uh, anything that I haven't answered in this video, please send me, uh, please leave it in the comment section or send me an email. Um, and I will respond, and I've said this before, guys. Tier 1 Citizen is comprised of me and only me. There's nobody else in this company. It's just me. Um, I love what I do. I'm working out of a converted attic space. So, guys, I love what I do. It gives me the freedom to, uh, to be there for you guys and answer your questions. And, um, and by the way, the viewers, you guys teach me so much. My viewers and my customers, when you guys ask questions, you send me to the, to the Internet, and I find what you're talking about. And I've been doing this for so long, I can look at a photograph of a weapon and I can figure out where the full crumb of the weapon is going to be, meaning the balance point on the weapon, and where are the best points to hook up. And then I always ask the customer, do me a favor, um, send me an email. When you get the sling, I'll put up on the weapon because I want to see what it looks like, because I want to learn from you guys. So thank you so much for your emails. Thank you so much for your purchases of slings and also for your, for your donations to keep this channel independent from corporate intrusion. And believe me, they're trying. Guys, the Chinese garbage manufacturers are trying so hard to get into the technical industry to push their junk. So 
I'm never going to do it. It's just I'm not going down that road. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.